The explosion of ethnic studies on college campuses in the late 60s and early 70s broadened the impact of these efforts from individual scholars in various disciplines to collective groups of faculty and students and staff who regularly saw as part of their mission a commitment to specific communities that had largely been excluded up to that point by predominantly white institutions. Both Yenli Espiritu, Daryl Maida, and other scholars have chronicled how critical it was for the first generation of Asian American studies activists to organize themselves, be it at San Francisco State, Berkeley, or UCLA, in relation to the Asian American communities directly around them. Maida makes clear, for example, that participation in the California versions of the black civil rights and black power movements was critical in shaping the perspective of the first Asian American studies programs. While Espiritu chronicles how a pan-Asian perspective affected not only how Asian American studies was organized, but had influence in organization efforts in the wider Asian American community outside of the campus. 